Over the past week, there has been a lot of fake news about Nas Daily. Nas Daily is a liar. Nas Daily hates the Philippines. That's why today I want to talk about Nas Daily in the Philippines. It all started in January of 2017, four years ago, I was making videos in Thailand when I started getting many messages saying, come to the Philippines, come to the Philippines. I was like, what is the Philippines? I didn't know it back then. So I decided to visit. And the minute I landed, I fell in love. Welcome to the Philippines. Welcome to the Philippines. My energy and the Filipino energy were the same. We both loved to scream and make videos. So I held my first ever meetup there and I met all of you. And with your support, I got to work. And started making videos about Filipino nature. Mabuhay from the islands of the Philippines. Videos about inspiring people and videos about underprivileged people in Tondo. <laughs> I love you. We showed the good and the bad, the beautiful and the ugly, and together we told the story of the Philippines. And I didn't only do it once, I came back to visit again. One year later, I came back to the Philippines to start a company. That's how much I liked it. We worked on an app and we launched it in Manila together. This was the celebration. After that, we continued to show the bright side of the Philippines to the rest of the world. This time, with the help of locals, we took a hundred kids for a fun day with their family and gave them supplies. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. When there was a natural disaster, we started fundraisers and donated tens of thousands of dollars. And when there was a war, we went to the war zone to show you inspiring stories from the Philippines in Marawi City. This is a bulletproof vest. There is no clickbaiting here. There is no put Philippines in the title crap. This is us on the ground doing the work to show you the bright side of the Philippines. That's why two years ago, we got an award for promoting tourism from the Ministry of Tourism itself. But there is a problem. Every time we make a video, there is a chance that it is fake. So we have to do research. We go to the internet. We check things on the ground. We talk to the people again and again to verify. And one day, unfortunately, we stumbled upon a fake story in the Philippines, which is the Cacao Project. On paper, it was supposed to be a non-profit that helps farmers. In reality, it's a for-profit that exploits farmers. We said we cannot do this video in good conscience. We cannot show you things that we are not confident of. And it wasn't just us. Every person who was on the trip agrees that this story may not be real. And this is the evidence. We refused to make that episode, even if it would go viral. And that decision pissed off a lot of people. He didn't eat our food, they said. He insulted our farmers, they said. He made fun of our accents, they said. Of course, none of that is true. It is false. And people continued with this fake news. The same people say we used Wang Ad, which is also false. In everything we do, we get permission. We worked with the family directly and got their consent. We made sure to support them during these difficult times. We did all of this as an act of support, not an act of exploitation. I am angry and you are angry and we hear each other. That's why we paused NAS Academy for now to work with NCIP to make sure everything is legal and everything is okay because we care. 
See, one thing my mother taught me is character. You cannot make fake news about our character. That is a red line. We are working with lawyers to set the record straight and let the truth come out. And don't get me wrong, we're not perfect. We make mistakes, but our intentions are pure. From our side, nothing changes. We continue to support the Philippines. Over the next two years, I am opening an office in the country and we'll be creating hundreds of jobs. And we will continue to make videos that inspire. My only request is that when you make an opinion, you should not make it based off fake news. You should seek the truth and nothing but the truth. Thank you so much for your support. That's more than a minute. See you tomorrow.